I, from what I've heard already, it was an abandoned building and an RV, perhaps? Those are the two things that have been lost, basically an RV, uh, an RV and a, an abandoned building prior to our arrival. Uh, I'm not sure what we have as far as exposure damage right now. Probably a lot of radiant heat that's damaged the surrounding yeah, yeah. Uh, surrounding area. But we haven't actually lost any other rigs other than that. Okay. Um, there Did was the person a, make it out of the RV? The, that person originally wasn't uh, accounted for. It sounds like uh, third hand they've been accounted for. We're just okay. trying to follow that up. Okay. Yeah. And. Uh, other than that, uh, it sounds like there was a bonfire to the north. Uh, it was fairly large. Uh, we're going to be looking into that. Uh, that's what you guys think right now is a bonfire the further away brought sparks that landed on the building, and that's kind of what started the blaze? That is a good guesstimate, but we'll no, confirm yeah, that tomorrow. Okay. Uh, we've had a good water shuttle going back and forth. We've also asked for uh, mutual aid with uh, Ellison Fire Department. They okay. brought their tender up, okay. and, uh, and uh, they've been good enough to help us with the water supply issue right now. So right now, it seems to collapse down on itself, and, uh, and uh, so far we're winning against Mother Nature. The flames were about 60 feet in the air, buddy. This is his tent. The flames yep. were licking. I got two Harleys out of there, okay. pushed them out, got That's his good. bikes, and then a couple cats I rescued. He's in Alberta, yeah. so I was saving animals and saving my buddy's <laughs> Harleys, and no one was even here yet. We're scrambling, and I got the hose on my buddy's roof till the fire department got here, and 